All right, YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. We are looking at a new EDC product here. This is the Urban Organizer Mini by Urban EDC Supply. I'm a big fan of Urban EDC Supply. Buy some knives from there, some other awesome, some pens, other things. And I saw this on their website and I thought, man, that is a really cool idea. Basically allowing you to combine your wallet and a some sort of EDC organizer in one. Um, be able to carry uh, some small items here in these pouches, which we'll go over here in a second as well as to be able to have your cards. Um, you can fill up some cash and you also have an inner department here as you can see. So let's go over a little bit about um, the materials and such this is made from. So these are this is all 100% made in the USA. All materials are sourced here in the USA. It's full grain, three quarter ounce chrome oil tan leather. Um, this is the tan color. There's a darker brown and then there's a black color. So uh, this to me looks pretty brown. I don't know that they call it tan, but um, let me just, yeah. Um, so as this gives you an option to combine all those things like I mentioned, uh, everything is uh, saddle stitched using uh, thick waxed poly cord. You can see the stitching on this is very, very high quality stitching. This is something that's designed to be an heirloom kind of thing that, that it could last uh, forever, hand it down to your kids kind of thing. It's, it's really cool actually. Uh, brass double capped rivets on here, very high quality there. You have an overall dimensions of 4.1 inches in length with 2.75 inches in width. Um, now, here's some important measurements here, slot widths. Um, your left one here is 1.18 centimeters, and your right is 1.5 centimeters. This actually seems flopped. This one's longer, but anyway. Um, it, oh, the, yeah, the width of it is about, yeah, they can tell this one is a little bit wider, but this one is a little bit longer. Um, like I said, available in those three colors, made in Tennessee, and it is backed by a 30-day money guarantee by them. Designed by Young Sung Chung, who is the, I believe, the CEO of Urban EC Supply. So the, um, what I, when I saw this, I, I like a minimalist wallet. I carry the Openmeyer leather gun deck. I, I put that in my top five EC products of 2016. And I saw this and I like, I like the idea of being able to carry um, something a little extra in the wallet and you know obviously have my cards um, and cash and stuff and still be in a compact front uh, wallet type package now i have it loaded out here just obviously these aren't real cards because i didn't want to have my debit card and driver's license those kind of personal information here but you can see this front pocket is um they kind of showed a, dis a display picture on their website showing some folded up cash here maybe having your license and other cards here and then you know, having using the, utilizing the middle pocket for some more cards. I just have playing cards. What I what I did is I kind of left. I have like a magnetic key card I have to get into my work with, so I left that in the middle, and then I put my driver's license in concealed carry up here, and I had my credit cards back here, and then in the back you can see out here I have a, or a Fisher Space Pen um, in brass. Fits really nicely in that package. In fact, it almost disappears. So you always have a pin on you. And right here, I have a Victorinox SD um, A locks. Now, you could actually fit a cadet. I just don't have any cadets anymore, but I know that you could fit one in there pretty easily. Anything bigger than a cadet, though, is going to be a little bulky, in my opinion. Um, if you don't want to do the like the multi tool, um, you could do a um, flashlight um, nothing much bigger than this though I'm gonna be honest with you this is a through night ti3 pretty small triple-a light I don't think like this is another triple-a light by four sevens the prion and this one it fits but it's kind of a tight squeeze and it kind of hangs off a little bit so you'd want to go something a little smaller like the through night here and you could carry a nice little EDC light on you now these will stretch and stuff over time but my big concern when you're loading this out like that is that it's gonna make it a lot thicker um, and that was my one, I would say, negative thing I would say is for me, it was a little thick in pocket. Um, depending on, just all depends on how you load it out though, guys. You're going to how you can play around with it. If you had some flatter tools, I thought about doing like the Gerber dime. It's, it's too thick to fit in here. I mean, it's, you really have to shove it in there and then you're making it pretty big. So I, I would stick with like a flatter tool. The space pan is great. Um, like I said, a cadet would be perfect. So the SD Mini obviously works great. So those are the tools I felt that I thought that fit the best in here with the um, wallet features. Now another th idea I had um, with this is it's you know it's very urban. It's a nice piece of work. You if you pull this out and pay for your um, meal or whatever, 
groceries, no one's going to bat an eye at, right? But what it does have is it has a lot of compartments and it would be really good to use for like a, a sear kit, like a mini sear kit. You could do like a handcuff key, you could do um, a Kevlar um, saw. There's a lot of things you could do. You could fit in these little compartments and as well as in here and that would be pretty hidden and um, no one would think twice about it. it wouldn't look it doesn't look tactical at all but you could carry those items on you daily every time you grabbed your wallet you'd always have those with you so that was another idea i had now i keep my little mini circuit i showed you in my belt in that uh, way of the gun belt in that little hidden compartment but another option would be here in this wallet so that's kind of how high i have it loaded out now um, and how i've been carrying it daily and it is very uh, it's very nice really convenient for me, like I said, it's just a touch too bulky for my liking in my front pocket, but I'm very picky. I like a really thin wallet, um, and I don't like to carry a lot of cards and cash with me. So the more, but there's certain ones I do like to carry with me, and, and with that loadout, it was just a titch um, too thick for my preference. Now, that's, that's because, you know, mostly if you were to take out the pen, take out the SD Mini, and... You know just had the cards and such then you're you're just having a thin wallet but you're kind of defeating the purpose of having these extra pockets here unless you can find something extremely thin another thing i thought of i thought i had one here by me but i don't it's like they make these little survival saws that are uh small that are that fold and they're very really thin you could fit one of those in there and always have something like that on you so there the there's tons and tons of um, ways you could load this out tons of opportunity just you'd kind of have to just go with your imagination um the biggest thing about this though is the quality is um very very good like very highly well made i've got a lot of leather wallets like saddleback i've got that uh, open mirror or open Meyer leather um i've had a few others and i have a lot of other leather products and the leather on this is super soft and supple and it's just very well made so definitely worth the price tag now these run $59 on their website but it is an heirloom type product that will last you a lifetime the stitching is super well done um, and the nice thing is they stand by their products you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you don't like it for whatever reason um, you can return it but I don't see why you would um, personally I think it's you know just all depends on how you want to load it out for me it's just a titch thick with um, the things that I wanted in there but if I want to go with like a really minimalist like just my ID and maybe one debit card and then have these items in there um, then it's gonna be you know pretty thin again overall it's not terribly thick let me use some calipers here now these cards aren't really you know true to spec as far as debit cards and credit cards go so let me add a couple playing cards that I think would kind of even that out a little bit just to give you an idea of your thickness and it, you know, again your loadout can be completely different than mine um, I've seen they, they do like the Rexford rut tool in here the space pen works great they have a, a knife by the James brand called the country that's a slip joint works great any kind of slip joint I think would fit nicely in here um, so that's another option as well but kind of loaded out how I have it your thickness in the pocket if you go to the thickest point which is probably going to be well we'll just go right to the middle with my calipers here without kind of squishing it at all you're about 0.83 inches um so not even an inch thick guys and a lot of you guys might be like that's not thick at all you're picky well i am pretty picky i like it really thin but this this is kind of a good uh, representation of how it would be if you carried a Fisher Space Man, if you carried a, a Swiss Army or some sort of other slip joint there, and then you had your um, cards and driver's license and cash and such. That's about your thickness. So overall, it's not terribly thick, but again, you're adding a lot of bulk with the pen um, because it is round. If you had something flatter, but I like having a pen on me at all times, which I typically do, but it's nice to have kind of a backup there with these Fisher Space Pen, and it fits in there perfectly. But guys, that's going to be my video review of the Urban Organizer Mini by Urban EDC Supply. Very high quality piece of um, material, a really cool idea. They have a larger version that's more expensive that can hold a ton more stuff, but it's not really pocket friendly. This is definitely a pocket friendly um, item. I just, just noticed this sitting here and I was curious if it would fit. It looks a little too wide. This is a Topps Emergency Whistle. Actually, yeah, look at that. 
So, you know, just kind of give me another idea of something that would fit. <laughs> uh, I just saw it night right here in front of me, and I thought that's not a bad idea. So you could do a little small um, light. You could do a Swiss Army Cadet or even smaller. Um, I don't think you'd want to do bigger. You probably possibly could. Maybe a, small, a thin slip joint would be good. But overall, a really cool idea. Um, everything all in one place. You don't have to worry about grabbing your flashlight, worry about grabbing a pen or, you know, an extra, or your slip joint, um, or even, you know, if that's all you carry is a little slip joint, this is kind of the right thing for you, man, because you can put your knife there, your pen, have your wallet all together, and you're never without those things. I use it kind of as a backup pen, as a backup uh, cutting tool, but the scissors on this are used quite frequently, actually, which I really like, so. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Any questions or comments on this, leave them down below. I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase this, and we'll see you on the next video.